Hello YouTube world, this is JJ and today I am at The Pearl in Doha, Qatar which is like an artificial island that Doha has made and it's where all the rich people go like with their yachts as you can see here the seven star hotels and nice bars and restaurants and cafes and um, take a look at these amazing boats out here Being here makes me want to buy a boat really bad and go cruising and fishing. Maybe someday, but not today. Because today is for studying. It's winter time in Qatar and the weather is just beautiful. The sky is amazing and the sunset is gorgeous. That's my future boat. So I've just started my reproduction unit and it's the last unit before I start my clerkships. Today I have three lectures to do, prostate and urology topics, erectile dysfunction, and urologic oncology. A lot about penises today. Alright, I have watched three lectures in Repro about penises and testicle cancers and now I'm gonna eat some dinner and then go back home to do some U-World questions and watch Pathoma lecture videos on the male reproductive system. Exciting! Hey guys, hey YouTube, what's up? We're so uh, excited to be going over to JJ's to watch Gossip Girl. And like study. And comment in the comments if you think JJ acts like Nate from Gossip Girl. They don't know me though. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel! Yeah. What did you study today? Um, I did ethics presentation and one lecture. Nice. <laughs> what did you do? Looked at Daniel. Yo, how many Anki cards did you do? So I did uh, 200 and then I uh, did 200 more. Okay. And then I did 200 more. Okay. And then I'm gonna do 200 more. What a man. Bro, what Are did you. It's vlog. 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 Yes. Vlog. What, what did you? The Korean way of saying is vlog. What did, what did you learn today, Korean. Farah? I learned the repro of the film. What did you learn today? I didn't learn anything. I did it last time. Hello. Guys, say bye to the video. Bye. Bye, bye. bye vlog. <laughs> Good night. So I just had to buy some light groceries like water and milk and all that. And I also just finished ethics presentation, which was about a teenage girl and her mom coming into the OBGYN clinic. And the teenage daughter has an STD. And it was whether the doctor should only inform the patient, the teenage girl, or also tell her mother as well. So yeah, I finished that. I still have a little more U World questions to do. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, YouTube. So I just woke up and I wanted to show you the amazing view that I woke up from. The weather is amazing. And look at so many boats parked here. It just amazes me how many rich people there are in this world. It's a little bit dusty today. So all of my lectures today will be online from New York, which means that I can watch them whenever I want. And 
I'm going to go for a swim because I want to start off my day with a little bit of exercise. Ready for today. There's not that many people today because I think there's a lot of dust. It's usually not like this, but I guess uh, there's a storm coming. So today I have three electric scoper, poly, prostate, and testes, normal and abnormal fertile developments, and menstrual cycle. Fun stuff. One of the interesting thing that I learned today is that if men were to live up to 100 years, then there's about a 100% chance of getting prostate cancer but that doesn't mean that you need to get surgery or get chemotherapy because some prostate cancer may be asymptomatic whereas some prostate cancers may be symptomatic so fact of the day Alright, so I've watched all the lectures that are scheduled for today, but the part about the menstrual cycle where the LH and FSH go up and the luteal and proliferative phase, um, that was a bit confusing. So I'm going to need to watch additional lectures on that to make sure I understand. And I also have to go over the PASOMA videos for female and male reproductive systems. A lot to be done but I've accomplished a lot today, so I'm proud of myself. It's amazing how I'm on my last unit of my preclinical years, which is on reproduction, because it just seems like yesterday I just started med school, and now I'm done with the preclinical parts and moving on to the clinical parts, which is basically like clerkships. And in clerkships, I'll be interacting with real patients and applying the things that I learned from lectures and videos and textbooks and seeing patients in real life and learn from doctors in the field. But there is a big hurdle that I need to go over right now, which is called the step one exam. It's like the toughest exam in medical school and I'm going to be taking that in a few months. So I just need to really work hard for the next couple of months and make sure I do really well on step one so I can go into the clerkships uh, very well prepared and have a very good basis. I'm excited, but also there's a lot of work to be done. I'm a little bit scared, but but I got this. I'm very new at making YouTube videos. Um, this is the first time I'm filming myself talk and do all these different things. And it's my first time learning how to edit videos like cut. So I kind of suck at this because I'm new, but please bear with me. And if you like this video or if you want to see me do a lot of other stuff, maybe in Doha or talk more about medical school or my life, please let me know. And I just want to ask you, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be forever grateful. <laughs> nope.